All right, this one might leave you scratching your head a bit. She's accused of abusing her power and charged with stealing from tenants. Now a former Ferndale housing official is getting a mega payday. Yeah, 7 investigator Jonathan Carlson digging into this one tonight for us. Jonathan? Yeah, this one is hard to believe, but it's true. Things are looking up for Deborah Wilson. Back in November, the former executive director of the Ferndale Housing Commission was charged with stealing prescription pain pills from tenants in one of the HUD facilities she oversaw. Investigators say Wilson would lure residents out of their apartments and then sneak in to steal their stuff, leaving Tylenol pills in their place. She's scheduled to be sentenced for that crime later this month, but not before getting a golden parachute on the way to the courthouse. You steal and you go to jail and get paid for it? Yep. That was a Ferndale resident this week at a meeting protesting a $130,000 severance package to be paid to Wilson. The commission's attorney saying her contract demands the money despite her legal troubles. He wasn't available for an on-camera interview today, and he's who the commission dumped this doozy on when we stopped by for answers. We're not able to comment. Since this is a done deal, without any public say in the matter, we wanted to hear from the real folks who live in these buildings shaking their heads in disbelief. I just can't believe they did that. I'm not surprised about it. She doesn't deserve that. She doesn't deserve anything. She deserves to be locked up. The commission's attorney said this payout is likely less than what they would have to pay if sued for breach of contract. Bottom line, as outrageous as this might appear, it's legally legit, so there isn't much anyone can do but be, well, outraged. A lot of people are, too. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jonathan, to be clear, this housing commission is not part of the city of Ferndale? No, don't blame the city of Ferndale. Okay. This is a separate entity. Okay. Jonathan, thank you very much.